everybody, my name is Neharika and today's lesson is about clothing. Uh, in particular about a shirt. Now we all wear a shirt, we either wear a casual shirt or we wear a formal shirt. So in this lesson we are going to learn with what you can do with your shirt or without a shirt. Okay, so let's have a look at the phrases over here. The first one that we have is put on a shirt. Now put on a shirt is basically you take out a shirt from your cupboard, from your wardrobe or from your closet. Okay, so you remove your shirt from your closet and you put it on. So it's the action of wearing a shirt. Okay, so please remember putting on a shirt is the action. Okay, it's the action of wearing a shirt, right? The other one over here is to wear a shirt. Now, wear a shirt is basically, of course, it, you can also say that you're wearing a shirt or it's again an action if someone would call you and say, hey, what are you doing? So you would say, oh, I'm just wearing a shirt. Or what are you wearing for a party tonight? So you can use saying that I am wearing a shirt. Okay, so this is what is wearing a shirt. The other one that we have over here is taking your shirt off. Now, maybe you're already wearing a shirt, okay? And it is the action of removing your shirt, okay? So it's basically to remove shirt. So that's when you can use this phrase that is taking your shirt off. I'm taking my shirt off. Maybe it's too hot and you want to take off your shirt, right? So that's when you would say that I'm going to take off my shirt, okay? The other one that we have is change a shirt. Change a shirt is uh, maybe you're wearing a shirt now, okay? And it's a little dirty, okay? Or it's not ironed, okay? So that's when you can say that I'm going to change, change the shirt. So you're already wearing a shirt, but since it's not ironed, it's not looking good on you, you'll just go and take another shirt and wear it on. Okay, so that is change a shirt. The next one that we have is change into or out of a shirt. We're going to first learn change into a shirt. Now change into a shirt is basically that you are wearing um, maybe a dress or maybe a t-shirt okay but now you would like to change into a shirt maybe you're going for a formal event in the evening or or maybe you're going to work so you would say that oh let me just go ahead and change into a shirt okay so you will remove your t-shirt and change into a shirt okay whereas the other one over here that is change out of a shirt what, what th this means is that you are gonna, ch uh, you're already wearing a shirt, okay? But now you would like to wear something else. Maybe uh, your friends called and said that, hey, uh, we are having a soccer match. Why don't you come over? So that's when you would say, oh, let me change out of the shirt. Let me change out of the shirt and wear a t-shirt or wear a jersey, okay? So that's when you would use this phrase. Let's have a look over here. Uh, roll up your sleeves. Now, what does roll up your sleeves mean? It means that these are the sleeves are of your shirt, okay? Now, remember, we also have different types of shirts. We either have a sleeveless shirt or a half sleeve shirt or a full sleeve shirt, okay? But here, rolling up your sleeves means that you are going to roll up your sleeves in this manner. Okay, so that's what we call as roll up your sleeves. People tend to do this to get a little more comfortable. Also, this roll up your sleeves is used as an idiom. Just a little more information. Uh, it can be used as an idiom. Usually bosses uh, tell their people or tell their workers that, hey, now it's time to roll up your sleeves. So this means that get on, start working, okay? Uh, the other one that we have is pop your collar. Uh, pop your collar is when you pop your collar in this manner, okay? Uh, youngsters do that to look a little cool, okay? So that's what we mean as pop your collar, popping your collar, okay? Let's have a look at some more phrases. So let's have a look at some more phrases that you can do with your shirt. Uh, the first one here is tuck in your shirt. Now, tuck in your shirt is basically uh, many people either keep it out, e either keep your shirt out to give a casual look or 
to dress up formally, they tuck in their shirt. So basically, they're tuck, they are putting their shirt in their, into their pants, okay? So they're tucking it in, okay? And then, of course, to give a more formal look, they tighten their pants with a belt, right? So that is called as tucking in your shirt. The other one here is you spill something on your shirt. Now, always uh, people use the word that, oh my God, I dropped something on my shirt. Now, that is not right. For example, if you're drinking a coffee or you're drinking water and so any kind of liquid, okay, please remember any kind of liquids, okay, if you tend to put it on your shirt if you're drinking, so you are not going to use the word drop. You would use that, oh my God, I spilled my shirt, okay? So that's when you would use the word that you spilled something on your shirt. That is when liquids, okay? When you drop liquids, so you would say that you spilled your shirt. But if in case you are uh, eating your food, okay, and you tend to drop uh, maybe maybe you're eating a bread and you tend to drop it on your shirt so that's when you would say that I dropped food on my shirt okay now of course if you spill something on your shirt or if you drop something on your shirt your shirt tends to get a little stained right so that's the word that you would use that you stained your shirt all right so that is called as staining your shirt. So basically leaving a mark on your shirt, right? The other one that we have is button your shirt or unbuttoning your shirt. Now button your shirt is basically you are putting on the buttons, okay? So you're wearing a shirt and you put on your buttons. So that's the correct phrase that you should use is that I am buttoning up my shirt. If um, one of your buttons is open, someone would say, hey, put on the button. But the right word would be that button up your shirt, okay? Uh, the other one is that is unbutton your shirt. Now, unbuttoning your shirt is basically you are opening your buttons, okay? Uh, people tend to say, oh, I'm removing my buttons. No, that's not right. It's incorrect English. You never, if you are saying that you're removing your buttons, this means you're removing a button out, okay? So the right phrase would be unbuttoning your shirt, right? The other one over here is dry clean your shirt. Now, maybe your shirt is uh, pretty dirty, okay? And uh, maybe it's a different fabric that would uh, get a little spoiled or it would become a little loose if you uh, put it for a hand wash, okay? Or in your machine, okay, in a washing machine. So it is better to give it to professionals who basically clean the shirt with a professional spray. It's, it's more like a, a petrol spray. They clean it and uh, your shirt is again very nice and clean. Okay, so that's when you would say that I am gonna dry clean the shirt or I'm gonna send the shirt for dry cleaning. Okay, the other one over here is to go shirtless or to go topless. Now remember that going shirtless is for men. Okay, Okay, so especially uh, the models, uh, when they are walking on the ramp, they tend to go shirtless. Or if you're going for a swimming, if men are going for swimming, they would go shirtless, okay? Or uh, for women, you never say that a woman would go shirtless. It, the, right would be, the right phrase would be that the women go topless, okay? So topless is specifically for women. All right, so these are the different uh, things, the different phrases that we learned that we can use for our shirts, okay? So please do write in to us if you have any other questions and I'll be happy to assist you and I'll see you in your next lesson soon.